Hi, Eric Shellman here, and today you're going to learn how to do a low country shrimp oil our way. Yeah, we got the recipe off the internet, but this is going to be an illustrated movie of just how it's done. So I hope you're excited because I sure am. Later. Here's the equipment you need for the shrimp boil. It's basically a turkey fryer, uh, complete with basket, and that's what you need, along with a big tank of propane, and dog is optional. So, be prepared, this is going to be fun, and we're going to have some guests over, and we're going to show you how it's done, from the time we put them in there, to the timings for everything, to the time we dump it all on the, tape, on the table. I got the hiccups, excuse me, but anyway, here we go. Thank you. Now, our shrimp oil is designed to, to feed about seven people. So, you'll see we have about this many potatoes. There's a perspective of a hand, okay. Uh, these are the red potatoes, the small ones. And uh, some of them, larger ones, are cut in half. Other ones are left whole. Um, so, that's that. We have two and a half pounds of fresh shrimp. We have andouille sausage. I think that's how you pronounce it. We have boiling onions. You know, depending on how many people. We have baby carrots. And um, something in, in there, I can't tell what it is. I'm embarrassed. Those were our clams. Okay. We also have, and this is a very important ingredient, um, corn. So, anyway, we will show you when they all go in and the times they go in and everything. It's going to be great. Um, and I'll show you how to prepare the water and everything. So, you're just going to love it. Okay, that's all I'm saying. All right, now... First thing for the shrimp oil is you need to throw a couple of beers in your water. Now always fill your fill your shrimp. Uh, this is for seven people, so you want to fill your uh, your boiler or your turkey fryer to its maximum capacity of water. Dump a couple of beers in it. All right. Then stir it with your finger. Stir it with your mouth. All right. Once it gets hot, I'll dump the Old Bay seasoning in it. So you, you have to live in a place that is familiar with Old Country Boils in order to get a big giant container of Old Bay. Otherwise, you're dealing with little... In Southern California, you can only get a little freaking box of Old Bay like this. you got about like eight of them to do it. So, all right. So we'll check back in when I'm ready to dump the salt and the Old Bay seasoning in. Now, part of the key to the shrimp boil Again, you definitely want to li line your whole table with newspaper. She has a lot of okay, thick. Of multiple layers of newspaper. That's how this is done. That, that adds to the charm of the event. Do not forget that. All right, now, here's the water with the uh, beer in it. It is not boiling yet. I'm going to take about this much salt. See? See that salt? I'm going to take about that much and dump it in. Okay, and I haven't put the uh, Old Bay in yet. The Old Bay is right there. It's waiting, Old Bay seasoning. And I will put that in once it comes to a boil. So there you go. All right, we've come to a boil. So what we're going to do, we've got our beer and our salt in there already. We're going to pull this open, lay that down. You can see it's at a rolling boil. That's a beautiful thing. I took this thing, right? Kind of see how big that is. I filled that with Old Bay seasoning. I'm going to dump that in there. I like to use a little bit more than that, though, so we're going to go ahead and fill that thing yet again. Okay. Now we're going to dump that in there. All right. That should be plenty. It's about half of this container, I'd say. What? You need some help dumping the shrimp into the boil? No, it's not ready yet. It is boiling now. Looking good. All right. Okay, we'll check back when we dump the first ingredient. We'll give you the timing. Okay. We're ready for the first ingredient. That's going to be potatoes. So what we're going to do, we take that top off. We're going to lift the basket out using the hook that's designed for this. And she's going to drop the potatoes in. Okay, so she's got potatoes in the uh, basket. Now these are going to go in for two minutes and then we're going to drop in the onion. The reason for this is we used to do it both for ten, eight minutes and we decided the potatoes need a little bit more. So we're going to start a timer for two minutes right now, then we're going to dump some onions in. Uh, the, again, these are these small boiling onions and then we're going to go 
for another eight minutes, and then we're going to add the next ingredient. And that's where we are so far. So far, all we got in there is potatoes, Old Bay, beer, salt, and water. All right, now we're going to go ahead and add the uh, boiling onions, and I showed you these earlier, they're about like that, nice size. All right, she can just dump them in, I think. Nah. Yeah, okay, I was just a little concerned. All right, is that it? That's all of them? All right, we're going to start the timer now for eight minutes, and after eight minutes, we'll add the next item, which is corn sausage. All right? Thank you. Try to keep up. All right, we messed up. The carrots go in with the onions. So here we go. She's coming. Don't worry. She's coming with the carrots right there. Here she comes. All right. All right, there go the carrots. All right. We continue the eight-minute timer, though. We're good. All right, the timer went off after eight minutes. Now we're going to add the sausage, and this is andouille sausage, which is uh, like a Cajun sausage. All right, so just put that into the barrel, into the basket. We're going to lower it back down. Notice it's a boiling, 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 looking good. We're going to set the timer for how many minutes, babe? Five minutes before we add the next ingredient. So there you go. All right, keep up. All right. All right, that timer went off, so now our next ingredient is corn. All right, the next ingredient is corn. So right now, we have got potatoes, carrots, onions. We've got potatoes, carrots, onions. My wife is about ready to burn herself. Now we're adding the corn. We have sausage. And now we're putting the corn in. All right, notice a nice roly-boly boil. Good. All right, what's the timer set for, babe? The timer is now set for seven minutes. I'm going to move that around a little bit. We are ready now for the final ingredient. The timer just went off. Now we're looking for shrimp. It doesn't look as full. What are you talking about? Okay, this is like a minute, so quick. I know. I need to... Uh, I want the shrimp to sink down a little bit here. All right, you want to kind of mix the shrimp in so they sink. All right, this is a one minute. The shrimp don't stay in long. They turn pink right away and they're ready to eat. So, the shrimp are in one minute. We take them out and we're ready to go. And that's the final ingredient. Then you just have to be awake for the dump because the dump takes place. And again, remember, you've lined your table with newspaper, and now we're ready to dump this over there. You got go. it? Red light's yep. on. Okay. Red light's on. Here we go. Oh, my God. Eric, go. All right. Look at this. Oh, my. Okay, get it where you're going to steam it up. You're going to steam up. I am. Okay. You just need to get a big, wide picture. I do. Right. Okay, this looks great. You want to do this, Randy? I'm there. Okay, go ahead. Go all right. Shake it out so you get all the get all the liquid out. You don't want to burn anybody on the way to the table. You hook your hook. See in the bottom? Take your hook and hook it through one of the holes in the bottom of the strand. That way you can get a good grip when you dump it. I did it a little bit, but that's all right. All right, you ready? All right. Taking it to the table. All right, everybody ready? This is mine right here. <laughs> All right. Ah, that is beautiful. Oh, that's God. a scream fish boil if I ever saw oh, Yeah, that's good looking. <laughs> and good cooking. <laughs> this is awesome. All right. And there's the fish boil man right there. And now we are ready. We're ready to eat. Oh, 